everybody, welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you could join me today. I'm going to share with you the works in progress that I am working on. I will tell you this, they are all hats. The main works in progress. They are all hats. Yes. Let me throw that away. Yes, I will finish them. Three of them are Tunisian. One of them is knit. So, let's get started. The first ones that I'm going to show you, actually, yeah, I have three Tunisian and one knit. So the first one I'm going to show you is, I've showed you this briefly, it's in this bag right here. This is using some of the, I love this yarn, and this is Tall Teal. Now I have used this yarn for a previous hat, it was a Tunisian hat I believe. And I started a Tunisian in the round with the four hooks, and I decided to frog that. This has actually been also started as a knit hat on knitting needles. Sometimes it takes several tries to get the right um, stitches for the yarn, right? Anyway, I'm finding that out. I found that out a long time ago. Whoops. Don't fall over. I got you sitting on a knitting loom on top of a uh, round tub. So hopefully you guys don't fall again. But anyway, this is a Tunisian flat hat. This is a free pattern. I have made it a few times. And I believe I have mentioned it in a previous video. You can find this for free on the Yarnspirations website. This is called the Bernat. Tunisian ribbed hat and it is Tunisian crochet and as long as you have a um, Which am I using? Tunisian crochet hook that is like at least 12 inches long. I believe it is Okay, this one's 11 So as long as you have something that's 11 inches long You can do this hat with a longer hook. You don't have to have one with the extended cable or anything like that. So, like I said, this is free on the Yarnspirations website. That's what it is. And you can't see through my paper. <laughs> there we go. Um, it is just a simple Tunisian knit and pearl combination for the entire hat. I will say, however, I remembered after I started this hat, and I mention this every time I use this pattern. If you're going to do this, you need to do, I always do the large. This right here, it says 76, but you either need to do 74 or you need to do 78 because 76 gives you four knit stitches in a row. So you need to do a little bit less or a little bit more. Otherwise, you're going to have knit, 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 pearl, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, pearl. Once you put the hat together, I had, for <coughs> I had forgotten that when I started this. So I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to frog it and start over. This is what I have so far. This is just following that knit knit pearl pearl. I can't, let me. It's hard to see. I just kind of came to the craft room real quick. But you see it's knit knit pearl pearl. It looks really cool. This does not, it looks really cool. This doesn't really cool curl too much because you are not doing the same stitch every single stitch. Did that make sense? So anyway, I've got this one. I am, I think I'm about six inches, five inches. One, two, three, four, five. I'm right about six inches and I think it's six and a half inches is where you start the decrease. Let's see. Shape top, yeah, six and a half inches. So I am basically right at where I need to start doing the decrease, which I do the decrease different as well. They tell you to skip a stitch, but I uh, work two stitches together. So that's a little, another difference that I do when I make this hat. So anyway, that is one project that I have, and I believe I spent way too much time explaining that one. <laughs> no, never can spend too much time explaining. So put this one away. The second Tunisian hat that I am working on 
is also being worked flat. This is a two color hat. It is a Tunisian full stitch hat. Oh, and by the way, on this one, I believe I'm using the correct hook for the pattern. Come on, get back out of there. But this is a, I love this yarn, so it's a four weight yarn. And I'm using a size um, six millimeter or US 10 hook for this one. And look what I just did. I dropped a stitch. It's one thing I like about Tunisian crochet, you drop something and it's real easy to fix it. Unlike knit, you drop it. If you don't catch it soon enough, me, I just frogged the whole project. Anyway, this other one has worked in two different um, yarns. I originally picked this up. It's not black. This is a dark royal blue. You can kind of see it there. This is also, this is an I love this yarn. This is called Blushing Sunrise. This is the other one I believe I paired with that tall teal for that hat, first hat that I did. But I have paired these two colors together. Like I said, this is a Tunisian full stitch. I'm totally winging this. Experimenting on this. I'm not going to count how many I put on here. But my thinking is, instead of the hat going it this way, for the stitch, I'm working it to where it goes this way. And this is going to be gathered at the top. So, I mean, that's what it's going to look like. The... Uh, Full stitches are going to go horizontal instead of vertical when this hat is done. So when I get this accomplished, I am writing information down. When I get this accomplished, I will share with you guys exactly how I did that and how it worked out. The third Tunisian hat that I'm working on had this little bitty ball here. This is some Bernat Velvet. Um, this is, I got another one here, so don't worry, I'm not going to be out. Uh, this is the colorway Navy. And I've got a big old huge, I think this is a full ball. This is left over from uh, making a scarf that I gave to my mom last year for Christmas. But I am doing this one flat as well. I am using one of the extended Tunisians with the cables on them. Like this. Mine's, I just got the one size. And I adjust it by tying the ends. But on this one I'm using a 7 millimeter. And I could not tell what I was doing with the, the brim of the hat. I think I did a single crochet, but I'm not sure because I can't tell <laughs> because of the, the way the yarn is. But I did a few rows of just regular crochet, and then I started just the Tunisian simple stitch. I don't know if it's because the combination of what I was doing or maybe it's just the size of the hook. I'm not totally sure, but this one is not curling either. This is what I have, and this should be... I think it's going to be about right to fit around my head anyway. And like I said, this is just, sorry, it's so hard to see. But it's hard to see in general because of the color and the consistency of the yarn. But this is just a Tunisian simple stitch all the way across, nothing fancy. And once I got it on the hook like this for the Tunisian, it was so much easier to see where my stitches were. So that is another hat that I have in progress. That is my last Tunisian one. This one kind of stays up here in the craft room for now. The last one that I have is living in the unicorn bag here that I have. And this one is a knit hat. And I absolutely love this yarn, you guys. I am so glad I decided to knit this and not crochet it or Tunisian crochet it. Because I think it would have lost a lot of the character of the yarn. This is an I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. The color on this one is Plum Berry. If you can see that and this is like hard to see in my light do you kind of get it but I am getting close to being at six inches and I'm doing the Ross hat for this on circular needles so right about six and a half inches or so is when you start the decrease I think I measured and I'm about four maybe five let's just measure and find out I haven't done a whole lot on these. I'm about four and a quarter on this. And this is what I have so far. I absolutely love these colors. And I apologize this being hard to see. But I will do another video when this is done for sure. That way you guys can see the colors a whole lot better. I will have a little bit better positioning of my lighting. But this was a quick impromptu video. 
So I've got this one and I am working on it as well. I am super excited. I cannot wait to get this one done because I, like I said, I absolutely love the way this yarn is working up. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. That's what I've been working on in what little spare time I have had here recently. I hope you guys are enjoying the cooler weather. If it's cooler where you're at, we've actually had a little bit of rain and it has definitely cooled off, which is kind of nice. Don't have to run the air conditioner and it's not cool enough to even have to run the heater. So doubly blessed. So I want to thank you guys for joining me here in the craft room and I will see you right back here for my next video.